Hello everyone, today I'm working on a 2007 Ford Focus. Today I'm changing the rotors and the brake pads. So to begin, first you got your car jacked up and on uh, jack stands. Okay. Next, you're going to pull your safety springs here. Okay. So just pop out and set that to the side. And then you want to remove your caliper. And in order to do that, you have two bolts. Okay, so looking down, there's one bolt here. And the other bolt right below it. And that is a 15 millimeter. So you're going to remove this top bolt and that second bolt. Okay. And right, once you got the bolts removed, this will just slide out. Okay. I just set this up here. You don't want to pinch your brake lines. And then you just slide out your pads here. They just uh you just slide in and out. These pads actually still look really good. Still have quite a bit of pad left. But uh, I'm going to replace them anyway. Now, once you got those slid out, um, now mind you, the inside one sits in like that. You'll see a little notch. Okay, those just slide in. And then this has a little uh, clamp in there. That clamp will set right down in here. Okay. So we're going to put that to the side. And we want to put the uh, new rotor on. I'm just going to slide that up a little bit. Okay. Some people take um, wire and they'll just wrap it around the caliper and put it on the shocks. Um, you just don't want this hanging. That will break your your fluid line. Okay, so just make sure you keep stress off of that. So next, we're going to remove the rotor, and this should just slide right out. Okay, I'm going to put a hand here and a hand over here, and you're just going to wiggle it off. All right, it's quite stuck. But something that will really help you is get some of this PB Blaster. It will work through rust, corrosion, and uh, I just had to take a pry bar and push behind and it popped off. So next let's take the new rotor and get that on. Alright, got the new rotor here. You just want to pick this up, line it up to the studs here, and just slip that right on. Okay. And just like that. A uh, good thing to do is pop your hood and come to your brake fluid reservoir and just kind of pop the cap. So when you decompress the caliper piston, you're pushing back on the brake fluid and the pressure. So that fluid's coming back to the reservoir. It's good to uh, pop the cap and help relieve that pressure to come back. All right, next you're gonna want to decompress your caliper piston. I have this tool here that I got from Walmart. Uh, you just put the plate up against here 
and I'll put the bolt there up on the piston and you just want to turn this and that will put pressure into the piston pushing that back and this will open up the caliper so you can slide your new brake pads in. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide out uh, this part of the caliper. It slides here. Uh, in here is some is a pin here and a pin here. Okay, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to put some um, anti seize in here. Because when you put on your brake, this slides in and out. And if that gets hot, corroded, your caliper is not going to compress properly. So what I do is I take some of this ANSI lubricant. And you're just going to smear some on these pins. And then you're going to pop this back in. So let's go ahead and slide this out. Okay, you're just going to pull this out, and I'm going to take some anti-seize and rub it along these pins. And then slide back in. I'm just going to push these right back in. It kind of takes two hands, but you get the point. Now I'm going to open up my new brake pads. This one being the back, it's going to clip in to the piston. And you'll see little notches here on the ends. You're going to slide right into these notches. Just line up the notches and you push in. Okay, so you got the pad in here, it's down on the notches. And those prongs on the back are inside the piston. Let's go ahead and get the front pad in. Take it to the back here. That's the back side. And you're just going to line up your notches in here. Okay. And there you go. Okay, it's, go it's going to be loose, that's fine, but once we go and want to keep that gap, okay, then we're going to turn the caliper over, back onto over the rotor. You want to keep that spacing, okay, you just, you're just going to slide it down, there we go, and now it's on, okay. Just hold it there and and then grab your bolts and you're just going to bolt this caliper back on. Okay, so I got that first bolt started. And now I'm going to get this one matched up here. Just line them up get your bolts started and then tighten them up you want to make sure these are tight because remember all your braking power is on here so now you got your caliper on let's go ahead and grab that safety clip pin 
and you're going to put that back just how you pulled it off. Okay, you're going to see this little end here goes inside that little hole. And same thing down here. That's going to take two hands here. And go ahead and get that in. And then you want to take this and push it behind here. The same thing here. Push that behind there. Push that in. There you go. And there you go. That's that. Same thing for the other side, and you're good. Okay, then put back on your brake fluid cap. And put your tire back on. Next, start up your car. And just pump the brakes a few times. And this will get the uh, caliper piston back pressurized. Probably a good uh, idea to drive down the street and just uh, make sure your brakes are working just fine. I hope that uh, helped you guys out. Have a good day.